Hello, my beautiful friends. Today, we're going to look at how to use AI to create a simple game. So as you know, I always start with a good question and I use Prompt Tesser to help me with my question. Um, I don't get a kickback, by the way, from Prompt Tesser. I just happen to really like this tool. Um, but let's say I want to create a game that is built like the Oregon Trail. And there will be four characters that have to make good decisions to get from, let's see, what do we want? Um, to, let's say we're going to say get through college from application to graduation. Uh, let's see, I would like the game to have fun but realistic choices. And I would like the whole file to be one HTML file with CSS and JavaScript requiring no external dependencies for placement in a learning management system. All right, so there we have it. So the reason we have to ask, um, in case you don't, uh, HTML is the language that we use in a learning management system, whether it's Brightspace or Blackboard. And uh, CSS is the style, what it looks like, and JavaScript is how it operates. So you need to have all of that in one file in order to uh, paste the code into your LMS. Now, uh, the reason we say no external dependencies is because the code within Brightspace can't go out and look for libraries somewhere else. It can't, it can't reach outside of the borders of the software. So everything has to be self-contained. So there we have it. That's the question. I'm going to ask Prompt Tester to make my, my question even better. All right, so it gives me a nicer prompt. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it into Gemini. And now it's going to cook. So you can do this for any topic, right? You can make a little physics game. You could make a little AMP game. The one thing that I hope that it'll do, and I specifically didn't mention this when my prompt, is that the LMSs have a, a, a certain amount of characters that it can allow in the um, body where, you, where you're going to paste this um, code. So I'm hoping that the AI knows that because sometimes the games will choke because there's too much too many lines of code and it can't handle it so here here is a complete single file html game that meets your specifications so it's still thinking so we'll see what it comes up with and i'm just going to head over to my class okay okay so um here is the html file i need to copy the code and I'm going to head over to my class. Now I'm using Brightspace here. I'm going to create a file. I'm going to make sure that I can see this bracket and you want to use this bracket and not, there's another one I think in here. Oh, you don't want this one. You don't want this one. No, no. You want this one and this will pop up. You want to delete this and paste in the code that you just created. And then you're gonna save it. And then you're gonna save it and close it. Now this is where, um, oh, I forgot to put a title in. Ha, sample game. So this is where you need to do your testing. So remember, there's three steps to AI, asking a good question, testing the response, and deciding how to how to host it. Welcome to the college trail. Your goal is to guide four students, Alex, Ben, Chloe, and Dana from the first semester to graduation. All right, let's see, start the journey. Oh, all right, here we go. Who, who are we picking here? All right, it's midterm week. How do your students handle it? Let's pull an all-nighter. 
How do they do? A big group project is due. One student's group member one student's group members are slacking. Do all the work themselves. Uh oh. A nasty flu has made its way through the dorms, and Alex is feeling awful. He's going to go to the campus clinic, because that's the wise thing to do. So this is pretty interesting. This is, this is interesting. Um, you know, so in, in just a few seconds, you can create a really engaging quiz. Now, well, let's say you're not teaching. Let's say you just want to create a game for your youth group at church. Well, you can do a similar thing. You can take the code um, from, we're going to go here, we can take this code, and you can put it into notes or notepad. I'm going to put it into notepad. And I'm just going to paste it here. Let's see if it'll, it'll let me. Let's see if it grabbed my copy. Okay. And then I'm going to save as. I'm going to just write sample game, and this is critical. You need to give it HTML as the ending. Choose all files so that it goes where you want it to go, and then you save it. And then you can play it off of your desktop so that you can send this file uh, to folks. So if you wanted to do this in youth group or you wanted to do this with your coworkers, right? you don't absolutely need to be in an LMS to create your game and play it. So this is just a really fun way to engage your audience. I hope this was helpful to you. I would love to hear about what you create in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. Wishing you all the very best in light and love. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.